Strategic Education here at Sussex. She also is the head of the Centre for International Education. A um, few words. <laughs> Professor, Professor Dunn is a very prolific academic and an engaged advisor for a number of different bodies. Her research includes studies of social class, gender, sexuality and ethnicity, policy and practice in different contexts, including developing countries as well as the UK. We're very lucky to have you here today, Marie. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I guess my job's relatively easy this time. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Um, and I've put the CIE website up there, um, uh, just so that you can see what it looks like. But my first job is really just to invite you all, welcome you back again to uh, Sussex. And uh, it's really great to have interested people coming to talk all day about issues related to education and development. So I'm really pleased that you've come back for the second year in a row, so that's good. Um, and I just want to say that all the hard work that uh, the organisers have done and this is really appreciated both from our point of view and I'm sure from all of yours. Um, I've got a few notes here so that I don't go off track because I'm sure there's people here thinking oh my god she's going to talk forever. Um, I, I won't, I'm trying to be short. Um, um, and I think that in, in my, the history of my life as an academic is one that really appreciates the value of research. I'm really interested in uh, research and I'm really interested in postgraduate research because it's at this time you have the massive opportunities to actually engage with something that's directly of your interest where you can open up spaces. Perhaps later on you'll have much more confined ways of continuing your research but the space you have now grab it with both hands and enjoy it because it doesn't come that often. So that's the first thing. And I think there's a really important value in postgraduate research in keeping the field on its toes, on trying to think about issues, and you know, the title of this conference is Post 15, trying to keep people talking about these issues on their toes. Not only because of what you're going to research, but also because there are new ways to research, and we are in desperate need of the generation of new knowledge of different voices, of linking what happens in the global south to what happens in the global north. These are all important things. Um, and I'm tempted to say in contemporary <coughs> times, you know, there's lots of challenges to um, the role of research in supporting initiatives and energy and a commitment to uh, equality across the world globally. Um, Research is important in that. We're facing um, rising levels of conflict in certain places. And, of course, we're, we're faced with a new global context in which people move around a lot. It's not only uh, people who are doing academic study who move around, people move around. There's lots of migration flows. And there's important issues around identity and recognition, as well as the governance of education and uh, social position that are really critical to the field that we're in. So all that you can do to help understanding of what's going on from multiple perspectives using different kinds of research approaches has to keep the field moving, has to keep it on its toes, has to generate new knowledge that we can understand and go forward. Anyway, without um, uh, uh, going on for much longer, um, I just want to say that today we're looking at the post-2015 agenda and we are really lucky because we've got two academics, um, Yusuf who's going to speak shortly, the keynote, and later on Keith Lewin, who have been directly involved in um, high-level international uh, conversations and um, focused thinking through what post-2015 should be. Okay, so just to open up the conference and once again say welcome to you all and hopefully sometime later on in the next day or two we'll have a little news item here with a photograph of you all in action. So check back to the CIE website and see if you can see yourself. Welcome once again.